right, if you're following along for my Arduino Power Meter tutorial series, then welcome back. Otherwise, I'll put a link in the cards to the first one and you can decide whether or not you want to watch it. Or if you just want to see some stuff about gauges, stick around. All right, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the program. So up in the top left here, you can see we start with voltage. So you've got a voltage gauge, active power on the, on the right. Now these graphs up the top here corresponded, correspond with the adjacent gauge. Same down here, current, current graph, parent power, parent power graph, frequency, and we gauge, reactive power, and we gauge. Now in the middle, down here, is all the instantaneous quantities. So if you just want to quickly see it without sort of iron off the gauge, then that's how you can look at it. All right. Down the bottom, you'll see you can select COM port. So you can select the COM port of your power monitor. Hit connect. So what it's going to do is it's going to connect to it and it's going to ask for the first quantity. So it goes and updates it. So I've got 247 volts, uh, 28 watts, uh, 0.1 force, 140 milliamps, uh, 36 VA, oh, 49.99 hertz. And I've got negative uh, uh, 10 var. Now that's all up on the bottom as well. So you can see it start to graph. When I get to uh, 10, it starts to push along back. You can change that. I'll show you how to do that later on. Now I've got this log button. So what I can do is I can dun, 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 pick. So desktop, I can just hit login. And what it's doing is every update interval, it's uh, logging this into a text file. All right, I can drop that off. If I stop it now, and I'll go find that file. So if I click on that again, it disconnects. So let's close this down. I can find it, hopefully. There it is there. There you go. Two intervals, two lines. Five seconds apart, you got voltage, current, uh, v, uh, that's VA, I think. Uh, 28, uh, 28 watts, 10 reactive, 10 negative R, uh, power factor, and uh, frequency response. Alright, now let me just show you how to put it together. And go. Alright, now this is Visual Studio 2017. Uh, if you want to change anything in this project, you can freely do so. Uh, more, li pretty much, you can only really change the quantities, uh, the titles, um, the, you know, the appearance, colors, all that sort of stuff. You can do. I'll just show you how to change the the quantities on the uh, gauges. So I'll just find one of the gauges down here. So, so frequency label, scrolling up. So this is the uh, voltage gauge, the V gauge. You could say the name's V gauge. Tells you where it is. Now you can see how it's got the uh, from 210 to 265. So from 210 to 265. Then you can change down here. You can change from two. To, how I've got 210 to 228. I've got that color. 228 to 252. I've got that color, and so on. So you want to change it to 120 volt system. You just put in there, you know, 100, 140, and it would wrap it around. You can change the font size, you can change how many ticks there are, so the tick steps, how often the labels are displayed, but bear in mind, if you have it too close together, it just all looks jumbled mess. Um, that's how you change one of the gauges. The graph, uh, there's probably not much you can really change in the graph, apart from, again, the colors. and. Uh, Go ahead and do what you want with it. All right, now if you want the link to the file where you can where you can download the project in the cards now, there will be a link to a current video of how to do a current um, shunt system for the, the power meter. Now, if you go to that uh, in the description of that one, there's a uh, file you can download the project. All right, stick around next week. Uh, I'll make a build video of how you put one together and uh, get it working. Alright, stay tuned for that one. 
uh, hit that subscribe button if you found this uh, interesting or useful or uh, you know bookmark it or something all right uh, see you next time